Well, folks, welcome to my channel. As you guys probably know, my main uh, interests are uh, restoring model trains, but I also just like uh, having little projects and uh, restoring things. And in today's video, I'm gonna be restoring this. This is an old uh, torque and box fan. Now, uh, just to give you a little bit of backstory on this fan. Uh, basically, this summer I was working at a farm, and we had uh, up here in uh, the Ottawa area in Canada. This summer we just had this terribly hot heat wave, and so um, I keep all the horses in the barn cool. We're looking for fans to put on their stalls, and we went up into this old attic of the barn that you need like a ladder to go into. Uh, not a lot of people go up there. And uh, the guy starts handing me down all these fans, and most of them are just these old plastic fans from the 60s and 70s. And then he hands down this thing, and we were both like, oh, this looks really, really cool. It's huge. I'm sure it can turn over a lot of air. Unfortunately, the uh, cord, um, the prong, one of the prongs is broken. So he said he was going to fix it up. And days went by, and they wound up just buying a whole bunch of cheap box fans and... Uh, this one just stayed there all summer and then uh, he put it back up in the fall. Now I kind of thought this fan was sort of cool and uh, just thought it'd be a fun project so uh, yesterday I was at the farm and I asked the uh, owner if I could make an offer for it and uh, she said which fan is it and I started describing it. She didn't know which one it was so she just said yeah just take it. So I got this brand new uh, box fan. I'm absolutely thrilled to start working on it. I'm going to start off by just spraying it down with a little bit of uh, soapy water and some paper towels. Um, I know that might make the rust worse, but first I just want to see actually how much damage there is because this thing is really, really dirty. I'll give you a close-up shot. I mean, this thing was sitting in the attic of a barn for uh, probably, I don't know, 20 years. Who knows how long it's been broken for. And it was probably purchased for the farm back during the 60s, so it's... Uh, got a lot of spider webs and stuff if you can believe it I've already gotten rid of some of the dirt just by shaking it out so this thing is obviously pretty bad the motor uh, looks to be really dusty not really stuff you don't want on an electric motor and uh, all the paint is quite rusted out you can see there's just all bits so it's all little pieces of crap all over the thing Looks like parts of a, a bird's nest or something are in there, so we really need to clean this thing off before we uh, start working on it. Not gonna put much, just enough. Thing cleaned off. Bless. Disgusting. Yeah, a lot of that's just rust, but a lot of it's also dirt. In the unit on the inside, all the dirt and stuff is coming off. I'm definitely going to need to take the grill off this thing. And more of that type of stuff. Anyways, I'm also just going to take a screwdriver or something to see if I can poke some of the dirt out of the, uh, out of the feet, because that's not so good. Really, it's somewhat remarkable that the feet haven't melted yet. I've seen, I have uh, another fan myself, and the feet are usually uh, quite, the, the rubber's kind of melted on them, 
so that's always interesting. Now I have to figure out a way to get the grill off. And uh, evidently my cat wants to help. There you go, buddy. Actually, I'll put a paint can there so you can get it out later. Anyways, let's try to take this grill off. So let's walk the camera. Uh, I hope this comes out. That's not a bad design. And of course, I got the beautiful Torcan logo. I believe these fans were made in Canada. Something I always like. So now that we're in the unit, we can have a closer look at everything. Uh, it spins a lot better. I'm definitely gonna try to open up this motor if I can, because I really, uh, you know, I just want to make sure if there's dirt and stuff in the bearings that we get rid of it and uh, clean out any old lubricants. As you guys can see, this thing's full of all these old spider webs we need to clean out. Got our uh, little electrical, uh, I guess, conduit. I really like this handle design, because you can see it comes down. It's quite cool. See, it comes out on the side. You can see it's spring loaded. Very nice design. And uh, now I need to start removing all this disgusting stuff. Probably shouldn't even be touching this with my bare hands. I think the easiest way to get all the dirt and stuff out without making a mess is just my vacuum. I don't think there's anything. In the dirt that's too big for it to handle. So I could use my shot back, but this thing's always easier to set up. Nice. I'll do a close up of this so you guys can see just how much dirt is actually getting stuck in all this nasty stuff. Seems to be the state of this. Um, I'll start filming on some finished vacuuming now. Now I'm gonna remove the rear grill so I can get some more areas to vacuum them. It's going on nice now. I don't need my screwdriver. I can just move the little tabs. Second grill removed. Now I can continue vacuuming out all the motor bay and everything. Dirty. Just put a little bit of water on this thing. And obviously, I didn't want to spray the uh, switch directly. No, I didn't just wash off the signs. It's just because of that. You can see a very uh, nice switch is coming up. I'm gonna have to see later if I can actually take this switch off. Because if I could, I'd love to do that. Because then I could clean it properly. But well, that's it for now. got this cord um, there's a lot of things I like about it first of all it's a really thick gauge definitely thicker than uh, what it was put on uh, it's got a ground we can actually make this thing safer now usually I would just snip the wires out but I wanted to get this because I actually do want to screw uh, a uh, the ground cord somewhere into the thing that way if something goes wrong with the motor um, they will take the power away and uh, hopefully won't electrocute me 
Uh, I've got to sort out all this weird stuff. There were some other components attached to it, and got some, uh, uh, basically, uh, what are those things called? Wires, uh, wire screws. You can see coming out of this, there's that white wire. I'm just gonna clip that for now. I'm gonna remove it properly later, because it's not really that safe to have live wires. I guess I could just cover it up with a bit of electrical tape. Um, now we've also got this gray wire. I don't know what the gray wire is for. I think it was to communicate with the device, but it's not one of the main wires. You can see those are both the main wires. So um, I believe we can just remove this gray wire. And another thing, this is what was holding it onto the machine. I don't really need that. So I'm gonna try to cut this piece off. These scissors, these great big ones, really mean business. I think they can cut through it. Well, they cut through part of it. No, I can't seem to cut through this ring part. Now let's see if I go from the other way if it will work. Ah! I could snip. Yeah, there we go. Here's kind of my plan. I want to run the wire up to where the original wire is. At that point, uh, this splits off and the two uh, positive and negative wires go up to the uh, conduit. The ground wire in the meantime goes here. And you can see there's one of these bolts for the feet. I can pull up that bolt and then I can put this around it and this will ground the case without having to put any screws into the case or uh, alter the uh, design any different and that will just run along the bottom completely free from uh, interfering with the blades. Now unfortunately since somebody chopped off the uh, prongs I have no way of identifying which is the positive and negative. I'm hoping when I, if I can open up the conduit box I can check to see uh, which is which and then I can uh, coordinate that with um, the cord. And the way you tell that is um, I believe the way it works is uh, that's the hot wire, the smaller one's the hot, uh, that one's the neutral, or not, not the neutral, the negative, and uh, this is the ground or the uh, real neutral, so that's all of them. I'm gonna snip that wire, I'm gonna try to go right here more than wide enough to put our new cord let's put some kind of epoxy around this the primary purpose of that is so that it doesn't get cut because people tend to yank cords mm -hmm. like what I'm gonna do now is take my thing hopefully the screw will or this nut will come off I've got the paintwork on my torque and box fan done. Now I'm gonna get this off, see how everything turned out. Fair enough. Mm, not too shabby. 